In this video, we're going to discuss the slope of tangent lines on an ellipse. So what I've done is I've put some tangent lines on at the vertices and the co-vertices. And as of right now, I'm assuming it's centered at 0, 0, and we'll talk about how you can adjust if it's not. But first, let's go ahead and find our derivative. So we're going to do our implicit differentiation, and think of the y as an implicit function of x. So remember, we take the derivative of the x terms just like we normally would, so this would be 2x over a squared. This will be real similar. It will be 2y over b squared times y prime because when think doing implicit differentiation it's a chain rule equals 0. Now when we go to solve this we want to solve for y prime. Some people like to use dy dx here. That's fine too. I'm going to subtract this term over to the other side. So I'll have 2y over b squared times y prime equals negative 2x over a squared. And I'm going to multiply both sides by the reciprocal of this guy. So I end up with y prime equals negative 2x over a squared times b squared over 2y. Remember, multiplying by the reciprocal will get this side to cancel out. I just didn't write out that step. So our derivative is y prime equals b squared over a squared times x over y. What that'll do is that'll give us, for any ellipse, the derivative at any given point. Now, what that, now let's just kind of verify this. So first off, that means if x is 0, notice we'll get a slope of 0. Well, if we're on the y-axis, we see that our slopes are 0. If y is 0, in other words, we're on the x-axis, we get an undefined slope. That makes sense because our tangent lines are vertical. Now we can do the, we can move this if this happens to be centered at h comma k. Well, remember, the distance from the center out to the vertex is a. So this would be x equals a plus h. Okay, again, this is a. So this would be x equals h minus a. Same thing here, k plus b, k minus b. So we can adjust regardless of where the uh, center is. So one of the things you can do is go ahead and see how moving the center of your ellipse changes your derivative.